Amadil Kumar, welcome to the excellent question on geometric series. Find the first three terms of an infinite geometric series in which infinite geometric series sum of all the terms is 4 and the sum of cubes of all the terms is 192. So what we are given here is that the series which is geometric series the sum of this series is equal to 4. Now the general formula is a over 1 minus r correct? when r is less than 1. Correct? Now <clears throat> the second part of this question is sum of the cubes of all the terms is 192. So when we say cubes is 192, so for cubes, the sum is 192. First term will be a cube and r will be r cube, right? So we get 1 minus r cube. So these are the two formulas to work with. So we have the two equations and two unknowns. You can solve for uh, the unknowns a and r. Now we'll do it in steps. Let us divide equation 2 by equation 1. Now 1 minus r cube can be written as, let me write down here, 1 minus r cube is 1 minus r times a cube minus b cube, right? So a cube minus 3a square b, it could be actually factored, a cube my, uh, a minus b plus a b which is r plus r square right so that is the factored form of a cube minus b cube let me write down here uh, if i have a cube minus b cube i could write this as a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square correct so one and r so that is how you get your formula is that clear so basically, here is a common factor and the factor is 1 minus r which will get cancelled. Right? This is what I want to show you with this particular expansion. So, so we could write this as 192 over 4 is equal to a cube divided by a will give us a square and in the denominator 1 minus r will get cancelled and you get this term which is 1 plus r plus r squared. Is that clear to you? Correct. So, so that is what we are going to get. Now we can multiply this, uh, divide this by 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Right. So 4 times 4 is 16. 32, 8. So 48 is equal to a square over 1 plus r plus r square. Okay. So we got uh, one equation in terms of uh, a square and r squares. Now we need to simplify this. So to simplify this, we see that the first equation is 4 equals to a over 1 minus r. So if I square this, I get 16. So from here, 16 equals to a square over 1 minus r whole square. Right? Now here we have a square over some other term, but a square and a square can cancel. So let me call this as equation 3 and this as equation 4. Now to get rid of a square, we could divide equation 3 by equation 4. So we get 48 over 16 equals to a square, a square cancel we get this in the numerator 1 minus r whole square 48 this all this in the denominator 1 plus r plus r square clear this is 3 and we can now cross multiply so we get 3 times 1 plus r plus r square equals to let's expand this 1 minus 2r plus r square so that gives you a quadratic equation, right? So we get 3 plus 3r plus 3r square, 
bringing these terms to the left, minus 1 plus 2r minus r square equals to 0. Or 3r square, yeah. So, as far as r square terms are concerned, we get 2r square combining these two. 2r plus 3r is 5r. 3 minus 1 is 2 equals to 0. So we get 2r square plus 5r plus 2 equals to 0. So we are looking for a product of 4 and sum of 5. So we can split this and write this as 2r square plus 4 plus 1. So we have 4r plus r plus 2 equals to 0. And now we are going to factor this and find our solution. Correct? So here we can take 2r common. So taking 2r common, we get r plus 2. And here we have r plus 2 equals to 0. Now r plus 2 is a common factor. And we get 2r plus 1, right? So here 1 is a factor. So the two possible answers are r equals to minus 2 and r equals to minus half. Since r should be less than 1, since we are looking at infinite series, geometric series, we want convergence, right, uh, for converging series. Otherwise, the sum is infinity, right? So we'll take r as minus half, correct? So putting r as minus half in our equation, let's call this first as our equation number 5, so we have r as minus half, so we get 4 equals to a over 1 minus, minus half makes it plus half, so that is 3 over 2, right? So a over 3 over 2. So 4 times 2 over uh, 3 over 2, it gets multiplied here, equals to a, which is 6. So a equals to 6, and now, we know what a and r is, so r is minus half, we can write down the series. Series will be 6 and then times minus half means uh, minus 3. Then again times minus half will give us 3 by 2. So these will be the first three terms of our series. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.